What's up YouTube? My name is Ty, financial advisor. Welcome to my channel. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is BBIG, Vinco Ventures. This finishes at $3.05 today. That is up 6.64%. But here in the aftermarket, it's pulling back all the way down to 290. And it's gone. So pretty much all the gains for today are given right back here in the aftermarket. So this did make top 10 on stock twists today. I believe it was number three, had about 8,000 mentions. So once again, we're going to analyze it. So this stock was one of the bright spots in the market today. It was an absolute bloodbath. Everything was tanking and BBIG held its own. It actually did really well. It was up over 10% earlier. And there's no company specific news to justify this price action today. But today, May 18th was the last day to lock in your Cryptide dividends. So it seems like a lot of last minute buying here trying to lock up that Cryptide dividend. So let's go ahead and analyze here. Let's jump right in. So first of all, this appears to be a cup and handle in the making. Bottom of the cup being 195, the low. And there can be multiple possible tops. It can be 350, 390, 440, or 555. And in the longer term, this is part of an even bigger cup and handle where the top can be 635, 730, 835, 910, 940, 1040, 1190, or even the high of 1250. So those are all bullish indicators that is telling us that the stock should come back up to one of those tops to complete the cup. So the cup and handle is bullish in the short and long terms. Down here on the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, the MACD line is above the signal line and is pulling away, creating some distance between the two lines. So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that it may be time to buy. And then we do have a triple gap down. First gap down is back at 955. So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 955 to fill that gap. Second gap down is at 745. So another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 745 to fill that gap. And third gap down at 585. So another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 585 to fill that gap. Those may take a while to fill, but eventually in the long term, the stock should go back up to those gap downs. And if this aftermarket action holds, there's going to be a new gap down created tomorrow at 295. So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that this stock should come back up to 295 to fill that gap. And that should happen in the short term. And now for the bearish stuff. So today we had a gap up at 285. So that's a bearish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back down to 285 to fill this gap, which it's at right now in the aftermarket. So that should get filled pretty quickly. And right now in the aftermarket, this is down to 285. So that's a bearish indicator that is telling us that tomorrow the stock is likely to sell off. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now, this is sitting on the support of 305, which I finished at today. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 315, 320, 330, 340, 350, 365, 375, 390, 405, 415, 425, 440, 460, 475, 45, $5, 515, 535, 545, and then 555. There is resistance above 555, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 295, 275, 250, 240, 225, 215, 195, 175, 160, 130, and then 110. So right now at this current price, 305. The channels to the upside and the downside are pretty decently sized. So expect a regular amount of price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 555 to the upside, the channels start to open up and get pretty wide. So expect a significant increase in price action if slash when this breaks 555. And to the downside, if slash when this breaks 295, the channels start to open up and get pretty wide. So expect a significant increase in price action if slash when this breaks 295. RSI is currently at 58. So a little bit above, so according to the RSI, the current price at 305 should be a little bit lower. But tomorrow, the RSI is definitely going to be a lot lower due to this aftermarket action pulling back. And this did 57 million in volume today, way above the average of 25 million. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. Okay, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. So this is pretty disappointing. BBIG was one of the only bright spots in the market today, and it gave back all its gains. But it makes sense because, like I said, it seems like everyone just wanted their last minute dividends, and now they're selling off after it got locked in. But pretty disappointing when it was up over 11% and now it's in the red. But based on the chart, the stock does look bullish in the short and long terms. We have some strong long-term bullish indicators in the triple gap down and the cup and handle. And we have some short-term strong bullish indicators in the cup and handle gap down at 295 and MACD. However, we are getting bearish indicators in the gap up at 285 and the aftermarket action now. So long-term looks like a good stock to buy and hold. In the short term, this may pull back 
a little bit more, but should start to bottom out and reverse pretty soon. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice, the gap up at 285 should fill tomorrow, and the RSI should be coming back down to around average. In the aftermarket right now, this is trading at 285, where the gap is, and I think that's a pretty good entry. Not exactly the greatest entry, but definitely not terrible. Very average entry, and you really can't go too wrong buying in at 285. Not too much downside potential. There's a lot of support at 215 and 195, and there's a lot of upside potential in the long term. So from the current price of 285 down to 215, where there's some very strong support, I really don't think it's going to go lower than that. That's about a 25% downside. And to the upside, again, this should eventually come back up to 1190 to fill the gap down, which would be over a 315% upside. So you really can't go too wrong here. Buying in at 285, I would say going long at 285 would be a medium risk, very high reward play. Definitely worth a shot, in my opinion. So I can't support going long at 285 and lower. And if it pulls back, then you can just average down at the supports that I mentioned before. Now, if you want to go short now financial advice, I would not do that and I would not recommend that. Not saying it's necessarily a bad play but just way too risky for my liking again very strong bullish indicators in the short and long terms this is already pulling back in the aftermarket here again very strong support at 215 and 195 i really don't think it's going lower than 215 so maybe you can get 25 percent to the downside here but again you're exposing yourself to over a 300 percent upside so i would say going short here would be a very high risk medium reward play and just not really worth it in my opinion there are definitely Way better short plays out there in the market. I don't know why you take your chances on this one. You missed a chance already. Should have went short anywhere from like $12 to the $4 range here at the $3, 285 range. It's just way too late going short and probably a bad idea. Probably going to get burned. So if you want to go short, do it at your own risk. There is downside potential. There is possibly money to be made, but a bit risky and you can definitely find better short plays. All right, so pretty straightforward, guys. Again, pretty disappointing. BBIG was one of the only stocks that was doing good today, and right now it's giving back all its gains in the aftermarket. But still looks really bullish in the short and long terms. So you can't go too wrong buying in here at 285. May pull back a little bit, but not too much downside potential and a lot of long-term upside potential. And really no reason to go short here. You pretty much missed your chance. There is still more downside potential. You can make money, but just way too risky for my liking. Probably not a good idea. There are definitely better short plays out there in the market. So congratulations to everyone who made money in the stock today, and good luck to everyone currently in the stock, and to everyone looking to take a position. This is BBIG Vinco Ventures. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.